Previously, we've been looking at transformations, but only focusing on one thing at a time. So stretching or translating or reflecting. But it turns out you can do combos. I mean, you can do whatever you feel like. So here I've just uh, devised um, an example here. So if f of x is x squared, then write down an equation for g of x, given that g of x is made up of the following transformations uh, to f of x. So the idea is you start off with f of x, which is x squared, and you try to find what g of x is if you do the following two transformations. So first of all, you do a translation of 0, 4 in this weirdo notation, and you do a stretch of scale factor 3 in the y direction. I think what it helps to do is just figure out what each of these means. So a translation of 0, 4, if you remember, this means uh, what happens in the x direction, this means what happens in the y direction. A translation means you pick it up and move it, up, down, left, or right. You don't necessarily stretch it, although here we will. But in this case, let's just break this down into two pieces. So this one right here. This means, well, 0 means don't do anything left or right. Uh, but this means up by four units. So that's what this right here means, only up by four, because the zero just tells you don't go left or right, just take it and bring it up by four. So already hopefully you're thinking, well, if I have f of x is x squared, I can take that graph and shift it up by four. That's easy to do, right? If you want to try to draw it, you totally could, right? I mean, you'd have something like this right here, and then you take your x squared, but then you just bring it up by four, so you'd have it up here instead. But what I'm going to do is actually erase this because we don't want the graph of it. We want the equation. But that's okay. We can figure this out in a second here. So what this means we're going to do, actually, let's maybe work out, uh, work on the equation actually right here. So already then we have g of x is going to be, uh, well, we have something uh, squared and we're going to have plus 4. That's what up by 4 does. If you remember, up by 4 means you just add a plus 4 at the end. But now what happens over here though? Do we have something in the brackets or do we have something in front? What about this stretch of scale factor 3 in the y direction? This just means I want to take it and sort of squish it, uh, sorry, stretch it and make it you know taller so to speak. So in this case then, because I have a stretch of scale factor 3 in the y direction, what that really means then, it's, it's got to be something like, you know, 3f of x. By the way, what this one here does, this is like doing f of x plus 4. Sorry, this is, I should have written this down. So what up by 4 means is take your function and add 4 to it. This stretch of scale factor 3 means chuck a 3 in front of it, 3f of x. Remember, now f of x is just x squared, so this becomes easy. It's 3 times f of x, so that's a 3 here. And this is my answer. Oh, I wrote it really big for some reason. But g of x is just 3x squared plus 4. Now, if I want to draw it, of course, I could. Right? I could just uh, take my x squared, and I could raise it up by 4, and then take everything, and then stretch it by 3. Um, so by multiplying everything by 3, as far as its difference or distance from the x-axis. But they just wanted the equation, so that's all we have. That's all we need. Now, we could have thrown in a reflection as well if we felt like it, but uh, in this case, that was it. But you could easily have reflections, you can have translations, but just, I, I don't want to, I mean, I'm hoping that next time you see an equation like this, you don't just say, oh God, what do I do, use my calculator. Hopefully you'll think about, oh, it's like an x squared, and let's see, I've got something in front of it, so I've stretched it. I've got something added or subtracted to the end of it, so that means I take it, pick it up, and move it left, right, up, or down. So hopefully you'll see that all these types of things and all sorts of types of equations can be done in this way. As long as you understand the parent function, you can do all sorts of great transformations on them. And that makes graphing a lot easier without a calculator especially.